my children at their ages are not going to know everything that all the other kids their ages might know. So, but my kids are going to know things that all their other ages are not going to know. Why? Because they're not, they're not learning the exact same things in the exact same ways. So unschooling, you're pretty much kind of sort of waiting for their minds to really want to, to do this, to accept it. Like one of my children, we were in Macy's buying a dress for a wedding and um, I had my rabbit in my in my hand my daughter's handbag and one of my kids came up and says mama can you you know teach me uh, percents again and it was awesome because normally if I'm teaching something at the table like that let me tell you if their mind is not ready for them to receive it then there's gonna be oh, I'm gonna punish you stop it why are you why aren't you listening and then they're gonna be miserable but this here it was awesome because the child was completely wide-eyed and standing there waiting for me to offer this information so that is the difference is that uh, traditional and even homeschooling is forced learning where even my minimal uh, schooling that I am giving is still forced uh, why am I doing that? Because I am afraid. Uh, what am I afraid of? I thought I'm an unschooler because I'm learning. Okay. I have let go of a ton. I've let go of my oldest daughter completely as far as forced learning. And cause I saw, I saw, I, I never even went to high school, not even anything, but yet I worked in a high school. I never went to high school, not a day. And yet I went to college. I got on the Dean's list. I got exempt from a uh, speech class. How did that happen? I worked in a high school teach helping assistants up in the front, uh, side by side with the teacher, substitute teacher, by the way. So can you imagine that? You got a high school dropout and you got uh, a hairdresser leading 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Okay, so I'm saying, how did I, I remember one day I sat there and I said, how, did, how do I know all this? I was really shocked uh, because I said to myself, I must have learned this. Life must have taught this to me. And it really, truly did. I have basically educated myself uh, between, and that's what helped me decide to unschool, uh, was that I saw that I had minimal. My stepfather was in the military, so we traveled all around the world. Um, and so my head was in the clouds half the time. I just was a mess, uh, always having to go to new schools. I hated school. And so I definitely learned things in school for sure. I'll give them that much credit. I definitely did. Uh, a lot of things I know though are from what I, what I learned myself. So that's, that's sort of why I, I really, that's why I dropped out of school in the first place was because I really believe I was an unschooler all along. I thought, you know what, just because school is uh, everybody has to go to school doesn't mean it was made for everybody. And I've held on to that. So when I learned about unschooling, at first I thought these people are so irresponsible. They're not going to educate their children. Wow, they're selfish. They are lazy. But then after I did learn about it, I liked how one woman said it. She said that um, unschooling is not for the lazy parent. And let me tell you, the first number of months I was exhausted because I had to like seriously, because I, I had to rely not on the books anymore. I was relying on me as a parent looking at each of my child's desires and whims, whatever they wanted to do, I had to get on the ball with it. Oh, mama, I, I, I want to do this today. Oh, I want to do that today. Oh, how about you? And it was like, I was exhausted because I had to make sure I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like this is how they're going to learn. You know, I, before I could just be like, hey, you know what? We just did school all day. I don't really feel like talking about that right now. Who cares? Just go look it up or go ask your father or who cares and just never get to it. This here, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to be on guard about everything. And it's so awesome because I truly am seeing that all the subjects that are in school are in life. And that's why. It's just that you might not be learning it all at that same pace. But I'm, I think I'm okay with that, you know? I don't know, I'm still, I'm still a little nervous, I, I will tell you the truth. But the children that I have seen that are unschooled totally impressed me so much that it made me decide that that's the direction I wanted to go. What did I like about them? I liked the, uns I like, I like homeschooling kids because 
I'm talking homeschooling because you know you look at them you say wow okay you you know I know that you have all that information in there and um, the reason why I liked unschooling kids was because when I watched them they can take anything and make something out of it like they were so innovative like that's the first word I saw in my mind when I observed them I said they are so innovative it was so impressive to me I thought I want my kids because it was like survival it was like wow if my kids ever need to know how to do something they're gonna figure it out and it's true my uh, my my daughter she knew how to get into a door by you know dismantling the uh, the, the door frame when we're all panicking at a friend's house. Oh my gosh, how are we gonna get that cat out of that room? My landlord's gonna kill me. I'm not supposed to have a cat and my daughter kept saying I know how to do it Let's do this and my friends like no way you're like I can't you're gonna ruin the property and her 14 15 year old son was trying to get in the door. Nobody could do it My daughter finally was able to do it and boom she got in so things like that is what I'm talking about Can other children do that? Absolutely, but I just am you know unschooling is focusing on their strengths. I know I'm talking a lot here. I just want to make sure I get everything. So you're really paying attention. And because a lot of times, if you are being forced to learn, you're not looking so much at yourself. You're looking at what somebody else is forcing you to do. So this here gives the child the freedom. So if God has planted a certain something inside a certain person that person is to uh, to take that gift and flourish right but if you're so bogged down and that was one of the uh, the goals for the it was a communist movement the public school system to begin with it was to say I'm trying to look at the time again uh, it was to say that we know we are, we are not trying to create scientists and artists and musicians and authors although we know some will escape that and they will they will they will find that pretty much so by giving the child space the that god-given talent you know say say my son was made and designed to do real estate just to say you know or pro scooter riding and I bogged him down with all this other stuff that he will never ever utilize so you know people will say and I had this question too well what if your child wants to become such and such of a thing but now you never gave them the certain subject so now they're way behind well I, I'm I'm seeing and hearing that you know if so instead of wasting your life away on stuff that you don't really need to know um, you're gonna utilize you're gonna say, okay, I need, I'm, I want to be this particular thing, and I know that I was born to do it. Like me, I love to write. Now, do I know how to structure all those sentences? No. However, if I need to know, I know I will have a brain to say, wow, I need an editor. Either that or I can go learn it myself. So, it's basically giving a person, this is the gist of unschooling, giving your a person, the child, the opportunity to master what they were designed to do because if you have if you can if you can if you can master as a child by the time you're an adult you won't have to try to figure out what you're gonna be I mean I talk to a lot of, of um, young adults and they will tell me that they still don't know what to do there are some that do but the majority always says that they don't know oh that's frightening one day I said oh congratulations you graduated high school now you're free and they were like that's scary well if the if this poor person had um, mastered all along imagine mastering your natural god-given gifts and then by the time you're an adult you just you're already doing it you already loved it that's the hope here is that we're just taking all anything that is just in there and just flourishing and then by the time they have to go do what they're I mean look at my kids I don't know what they're gonna do but I can see all their strengths when I did um, a report for the town I wrote down everything and I could see all the arts whether it was editing, you know, photography, um, you know, making things out of nothing, um, you know, rec recording music. Uh, it just, you know, that was just one person. 
And you might say, oh, yeah, yeah, what good is that? They have to go get a real job. Well, you don't know. And the whole goal is that the unschooler, what do they say? The uh, My unschooler will hire your honor student. I love it. And it's not to say anything terrible about any child, no matter how you're learning. You know, it's just that it's so... It's so admired in society to get a good education in the public school system. And it's like, when you learn about where it came from, it really is a joke. Okay. And most people don't even like school at all. Well, this is like, you never take summers off. You're never, you know, there are no tests except for the test at the end of the year. If you decide to take that for your children, uh, some places are forced, some are not. So unschooling, you, you're, you do ha not have a curriculum. There are no plans about anything. You just wake up and you live. And people are like, oh yeah, well that's a lazy way to go about it. No, it's living. My daughter, one of my daughters said to me, they said, mama, why do we have to learn how to live? Why don't we just live? So, and that's true, right? So it's pretty, pretty cool. Am I willing to take the, the criticism and all that? Absolutely. Because you know what? I know that I love my children. I know that nobody on this planet loves them more than my husband and I. Nobody um, is, is going to look out for their best interests more than us. Of course, I don't want them to be stupid. I don't want them to be ignorant. I don't want them to, to suffer. I'm going to teach them as much as I possibly can. Am I the sharpest knife in the drawer? Probably not, but you know what? I'm doing yeah. the best that I can. Thanks. <laughs> and um, so I know that I can, I can do it. I can get along. There was a book called uh, Think and Grow Rich. My father had given it to me and... Um, and it said, if you don't know how to do something, it's easy. Use somebody else's brain. <laughs> you know, it's all about learning how to get something, you know, research. So, all right. So I hope that answered you, uh, your question and uh, about unschooling. And it's definitely not for the lazy parents. You have to be highly involved. These are my children. Unschooling is about these are my kids. I can educate them any way I choose. They are mine. God bless you. Bye-bye. Yeah, my unschooler will hire your honor student. I love it. And it's not to say anything terrible about any child, no matter how you're learning. You know, it's just that it's so, it's so admired in society to get a good education in the public school system. And it's like, when you learn about where it came from, it really is a joke. Okay. And most people don't even like school at all. Well, this is like, you never take summers off. You're never, you know, there are no tests except for the test at the end of the year. If you decide to take that for your children, uh, some places are forced, some are not. So unschooling, you, you're, you do ha not have a curriculum. There are no plans about anything. You just wake up and you live and people are like, oh yeah, well, that's a lazy way to go about it. No, it's living. My daughter, one of my daughters said to me, they said, mama, why do we have to learn how to live? Why don't we just live? So, and that's true, right? So it's pretty, pretty cool. Am I willing to take the, the criticism and all that? Absolutely. Because you know what? I know that I love my children. I know that nobody on this planet loves them more than my husband and I, nobody um, is, is going to look out for their best interests more than us. Of course, I don't want them to be stupid. I don't want them to be ignorant. I don't want them to, to suffer. I'm going to teach them as much as I possibly can. Am I the sharpest knife in the drawer? Probably not. But you know what? I'm doing yeah. the best that I can. Thanks. <laughs> and um, so I know that I can, I can do it. I can get along. There was a book called uh, Think and Grow Rich. My father had given it to me. And... Um, and it said, if you don't know how to do something, it's easy. Use somebody else's brain. <laughs> you know, it's all about learning how to get something, you know, research. So, all right. So I hope that answered you, uh, your question and uh, about unschooling. And it's definitely not for the lazy parents. You have to be highly involved. These are my children. Unschooling is about these are my kids. I can educate them any way I choose. They are mine. God bless you. Bye-bye.